Hi, I'm Jaime Orrego. I teach Spanish and literature here at San Anselm College, and I'm from Medellin, Colombia. My research mainly focuses on the violence in literature, especially in Colombia. I study Latin America in general, but I focus in Colombia in the period between the 1950s and the beginning of the century. My background is in the sciences, and I moved to the U.S. in 2000 from Colombia, and my plan was to continue with sciences, but somehow I started teaching Spanish, and I fell in love with the teaching, and I decided that it was a good idea to teach because that was the best way for me to share my culture with other people. Something that I think is interesting about me that not many people know is how much involved with sports I am. So I have many reasons why I come to the Hawks games. Um, one of the most important reasons for me is that I see many of my students there. So I like to see another aspect of my students outside. The other thing is that they come to my class so I want to come to what they do outside the classroom. Come on, Hawks! And I kind of transform in a different person when I'm in any type of sports event. And in, in Sané, it's like sometimes when we are in any different sport, I start screaming at the refs if I have to. Being an Anselmian means that everybody who is here is part of my life and I am part of everybody's life here. Like as I mentioned before, I got to see my students or anybody involved with different sport activities, theater, music, and even at mass. I have had some students who are now monks. What I consider the funny story here in San Ais is that a few years ago, I had a student who asked me if I could be a reference, a reference for her job. She was applying for a federal government job, and I said yes. I didn't think much of that, and I even forgot that I was down as a reference. And then one Saturday, I was here, I don't remember doing what, working at school, and I got a phone call from my wife, and she said that there was a private investigator looking for me, and I freaked out, and in the two seconds that I was talking with her, I thought of all the bad things that I have done since I moved to the U.S., and then when I passed the phone, I realized that it was because I was the reference for this student, and then he asked me if we could meet. So he came to my office, opened the door, and showed me his ID with all his number, name, and all the information that supposedly I needed to know. And then I felt like I was famous, that I was, I was in one of those movies that I watched all the time. 